This is the E Diag Yawoa YA101 OBD2 scan tool for the car. Let's take it out of the box. In the box, of course, we find the scan tool and a little instruction booklet. This will work with vehicles from 1996 and newer, anything that has an OBD2 port under the dashboard somewhere. You plug it in and then you could read the engine codes and erase them if need be. And this supports all kinds of stuff. This will do O2 sensor tests, uh, it'll do a monitor system test, evap system test, it gives you live data, shows you the readiness monitors to make sure your car is ready for inspection, and it also supports lifetime upgrades. There is a USB mini port at the bottom there. The cable for it is not included, but with that you can plug it up to the computer and get uh, software upgrades for this. There is indeed a screen protector thing on there as you can see the little tab. I'll be leaving it on for this video. And let's go take this out to the car and see what it can do. Okay, now in the car everything is ready to go. You do need to turn your key on. If you have a key you turn that to the on position or basically the position that the key would be in when the engine is running and you're just driving. If you have a push button typically it's two presses one at a time and do not step on the brake otherwise the engine will start. So we'll go ahead and press that twice. Our dashboard lights up and everything is ready to go. So we'll come over here and go to diagnostic. You can see it's very simple up down OK and back. Couldn't get easier than that so we'll hit diagnostic we'll hit OK And there we go. Right here it shows you the malfunction indicator status or check engine light is off. And it shows you all of the monitoring systems. This car does not have any code so there's nothing stored. And you can scroll down the list there if you'd like and get more information. Or we can go back and go into the ECM. We can read codes but there is nothing stored. So it's not going to show anything for us here. You may also have pending codes in your car. And pending codes would be uh, basically an impending problem that may show up as an actual check engine light. So we could hit that. There's nothing there. And permanent codes not supported on this vehicle. You could erase codes if there was one there. And let's take a look at the live data. Okay, so everything is showing up here, and there's all sorts of information here that we can scroll through. Okay, here's one in particular that we could see the difference. That says RPM, and at zero because the engine is not running. So I'm going to go ahead and start the engine, and that should change. And that's showing right around a thousand RPM. So that's all good. I'll rev it up a little bit. And that'll settle back down. And of course there's all sorts of other data in here that you could see the spark advance that should change as I rev it as well. And you know all kinds of information in here shows your Mass airflow sensor, that should also change as I rev it. And all kinds of live data here from your oxygen sensors and all kinds of stuff. You can see there's pages and pages and pages of information here that you can run through. And that's the end of that. So we can go back. We can get vehicle information. It says turn key on with engine off. So I've just done that. 
and we'll hit enter and we'll see if it'll pull the VIN it does obviously I've blanked that out and there's all sorts of other information in there also the IM readiness monitors you can go in there and it shows since diagnostic trouble codes were cleared or this drive cycle well, if you know anything about this stuff a lot of people with older vehicles are stuck with a P0420 or catalytic converter error as it's colloquially called and um, this can allow you to pass inspection possibly without fixing the problem if you reset all of the codes using this tool and then drive until you have most of your readiness monitors completed there's all kinds of tutorials on the internet about how to do this uh, you can possibly skirt the system and get the car inspected before the check engine light comes back this shows all kinds of other test data uh, you know again if you're really into this stuff you can read it some things may or may not be supported apparently that is you can also do the diagnostic trouble code lookup and if you go in there you can search by vehicle or you can go for a generic and enter the code in so if I were to run this up to PO420 it says catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one and that is the code that a lot of people will end up seeing as their vehicle gets older there's a voltage test it's just a reference but it tells you what it's seeing on the diagnostic connector pins and you can change the language the unit of measure data logging you can start and there's also self-test where it'll test the display make sure all the colors show up and a keyboard test where you can test the buttons on here so I'll go ahead and press all of those and that works as well so once again this was the eDiag Yawoa YA101 OBD2 scan tool if you'd like to purchase this item I'll leave a link in the video description where you can find it available for sale on Amazon thanks for watching make sure you click like make sure you click subscribe and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.